The music is very romantic and very much in the, sp in the spirit of, uh, the, uh, of Pushkin's uh, words. What Tchaikovsky did, of course, almost single-handedly, he himself wrote music and the text, the libretto. Um, and wrote is probably uh, a little bit loud, too much, too loud of a word, because he basically, except for the bass area, Gremin's area, which he wrote totally, he and his friend uh, Shalovsky wrote the, the text. Everything else is taken from Pushkin. He just reorganized it, rearranged it. Something that goes um, uh, as a Onegin's thought from the very beginning, like when he thinks about his uncle, when he's writing, you know, to, to get to his uncle who is dying in order just to be with him to get the inheritance. And how annoying it is to be, he thinks, to be with a dying uh, old man and so on. Uh, that, of course, uh, Tchaikovsky put it in his uh, little conversation with Tatiana, their first meeting, and when they just walk along. So there are differences like this. He, of course, made it, the text much shorter and rearranged it in a number of ways. But basically, it's all Pushkin's poetry. Uh, and, but the lush orchestration, the orchestration for, the, for this piece is wonderful. It's very much like Tchaikovsky's symphonies. Uh, it's very rich. He's, the combination is perfect with all of these preludes, interludes, orchestral interludes, um, uh, th uh, dances. It, it creates almost kind of a combination of a symphony, symphonic texture, with a little bit ballet dance music, which Tchaikovsky also was great at, with Swan Lake and Nutcracker, etc., and the opera. Uh, 